Good morning guys, how are you? Well, it's actually midday right now. I thought that I would start a weekly vlog so that we can just hang out a bit more. Nick and I are going to Palm Beach on Friday, so I thought we could hang out together, just you and me. Uh-oh, yeah, no, actually that's pretty good. That's yeah, good. go to Palmy, hang out with Nala and the dogs and just do an old weekly vlog like we used to. That's all I have to say for now. I will check in. Actually, yeah, that is, that's all I have to say. Come along for the ride. <laughs> it's become obsessed with Orchid Street juices. I'm having a beetroot juice now. Hi, Nally Doo. Hi. This smoothie, sorry, it doesn't look so appetizing, but it's got banana and protein and dates is the yummiest thing I have literally ever tasted in my entire life. I have two really random suggestions for you guys. Um, this blush from Flower Beauty, which I believe is Drew Barrymore's brand, is the most beautiful peach blush. And I've just been like loading this on my face. Can you guys see how much my lashes have grown? I have been using Revitalash. <laughs> no, I haven't. It's called Lilash Purified Eyelash Serum. And since I've had my eyelashes taken off, I just thought maybe I would try out a serum and see how it goes. And I feel like my eyelashes grown such crazy amounts. I've done it for just under a month and I think it's supposed to take like three months to properly give you the results. So I'll keep you in the loop as to how this goes. I'm wearing my new one mile jumper. This is launching by the time you guys see this probably either will have just launched or could potentially be launching. Um, so this is our new lounge around jumper and Actually, no, it's the Lazy Arvo jumper and it comes with matching trackies. It's so, so comfortable. It's really, really soft, 100% cotton, um, but it is looped back on the inside because it's a bit more of a transseasonal piece. We chose a loop back that's a really soft loop back so that it sort of gives you fleece vibes, but isn't a full fleece. So um, we were weighing up as to whether or not to do fleece. And because it's coming out in August, it's just going to start getting warm in Australia soon. So. We figured we'd do a nice transseasonal piece, but honestly, this jumper keeps me so warm. It's really nice and large and oversized. I just wear a size 10 and it gives you that oversized look. So um, I could even go up a few sizes and have that really big baggy look, but uh, I'll give you a bit of a, whoa, almost tripped. A bit of a look. I should put the trackies on and show you guys. It's supposed to be raining all weekend in Palm Beach, well, in Sydney in general. So, um, I will be bringing this lounge around set and all of my other stuff to Palmy and I can give you a few little sneak peeks at the stuff. And obviously go to One Mile's Instagram if you want to see a haul because I'll usually always upload a bit of like a mirror selfie haul and explanation Q&A over on One Mile's Instagram. So any questions you might have, go head over there. Oh my gosh. Me and Nick just went on a walk with Nala this morning and the wind outside, it's freezing. So I look very disheveled, but... It's 8.30, I'm just in the office and I'm just going to get a little bit of my emails done before we start the day. That's such a pretty colour. I'm doing a collab on my Instagram with Basics by B. She's Oz Beauty Expert on Instagram and I'm so all about supporting other women, especially in the industry, especially people that are sort of in the same shoes as me because I know sometimes coming from being an influencer to starting a brand, people can not necessarily judge you but they don't necessarily take you as seriously I guess sometimes. Yeah I'm gonna do some work for the next hour or so and then we've got a team gym session with Ben this morning so 9.30 we're gonna do some, a workout with Georgie Days. Hello. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> So, so pulse squat, here we go. All the way down, halfway oh, up. <laughs> Just doing some extra, extra cows yeah. all the way to the ground. It wasn't quite hard oh. enough. We had to go to the bottom. Sure, that was fun. That wasn't good for you. Okay, so work is done for the day. I'm actually heading to Mossman tonight to have dinner with my family. However, on the way there, I'm gonna stop up in Paddington and have a facial, uh, a 
I've been taking you guys along on my skin journey. My skin's looking the best that it has for a while. I had quite a few under skin painful pimples when my skin was changing when I went off the pill and I found my skin has turned oily whereas it used to just be like normal to combination. Um, and on top of that, uh, I feel like I've got larger pores around here um, and just smaller blemishes and breakouts. Yeah, I wanna have a good clean and just maybe get some advice on a few serums because I use my Clinique Moisture Surge as my moisturizer. I feel as, as I get older, I want to start incorporating a little bit more serums into my skincare because I know that vitamin C and vitamin B are like majorly key to making people's skin glow and stay really clear and hydrated and beautiful. So anyways, like I said, my skin's actually not as bad as it has been. It's funnily enough, as soon as I have my facial, it's cleared up a little bit. So that always happens. Um, but I will keep you in the loop as to what products that they recommend me. We've been in the last week doing a whole bunch of designing for our ranges in February and April next year. But the collections so far are looking really fun. I'm really pumped and excited to see what you guys think of November's launch. I finished work a little earlier this afternoon so I thought I'd have some me time. I haven't been doing very much me time. It's actually interesting. I feel like this is a really random tangent that I'm going on now, but it's interesting from living by myself in Paddington and working my job, which is ju was just surrounded by YouTube and shooting campaigns for other brands and Instagram and all sorts of social media stuff. Um, I was constantly alone and now I'm constantly surrounded by people. But in saying that, I am in a position where I am so, so, so beyond blessed to even have this platform and this job that I have and to have this brand that I truly love. So there is no complaints from me. It's more just giving you like a bit of a life update, I suppose, because it's just different. Like I, even me hanging out with you guys, I feel like I rarely get to film anymore or you know really find the time to film anymore so it's just it's just funny how life changes can change so dramatically and then on top of that obviously 2020 has just been so insane so i feel like i'm not in focus so i should just talk to you guys later isn't it just bizarre i feel i don't know i just feel like i've had a chance to chat with you guys for ages but anyway i'm gonna run in so i'll talk to you later <laughs> All right, here I am, the much paler face. Um, I ended up getting a peel done with a vitamin A peel. So apparently that's good for sort of blemishes and pimples, and blemishes on the skin and blackheads and pores and stuff. So that's great. I got a retinol and a vitamin B, which I'm gonna use for a few weeks before I recommend to you guys because I don't wanna just sit on here and be like, this is what you should get and then um, it didn't work for me or I don't like it. So I'm gonna give it a, give it a crack and I'll uh, keep you in the loop as to how it goes. Look how white my face is from my facial yesterday. I'm wearing our gorge new vintage one mile crop. Love wearing it with gym gear. I need to cover my face. So we've got our gorgeous charity bandanas that have arrived. Um, we've had them printed here in Australia and this is our custom design. Fold them all up so that we can package them up for you guys in your orders and give it to our warehouse. The other thing I really loved, Mitch, was Michelle Obama's podcast launch this week and her first interview was with her I'm just doing a haul, just filming a little bit of a haul, and I thought I would just give you guys a little quick look in this video. We have our staple singlet, which is coming out. This is the best singlet. I'm wearing it in a size 10. Then we have our Melbourne pants in a lovely olive color. I'm wearing the size medium here, which gives you more of a fitted look. I sometimes go up a size if I want it down on my hips. They are a little shorter, as you can see on me, if I wear them up. But if I bring them down, because I like to wear a lot of pants down, low-waisted as well, they go nice and long. They are gorgeous. It's the most beautiful, luxe, thick knit fabric. Super slouchy. Super soft, really comfortable, um, and it's got a beautiful golden undertone to it. So it's an olive, but it's like a khaki golden olive. This one's just the best everyday one. Like you can see our logo uh, when you're close up. It's got like some nice highlights to it, but also it's not really obnoxious. So it just looks like a really cool oversized band tee, super vintage. I just, I feel so comfortable in it. Can we talk about 
our Tahiti shorts. I'm wearing size 12 here, so I go up a size when I want them to be like kind of baggy. Bloody love it. This color tone. I believe this is the star of the show. This is what everyone's been waiting for. I've shown you guys this in a video, but I haven't shown you guys the back or I haven't shown you the shorts. So we have matching black knit shorts with this gorgeous oversized turtleneck. I really hope I'm in focus. I feel like I've done something to my camera. You guys loved our Tokyo, so we wanted to bring out like a little sister jumper to match her. It's a gorgeous transseasonal piece, but I've even been wearing it all winter. It's so cozy. Like, I can't even explain to you. Like, the sun is glaring in on here. <laughs> I can't even explain to you the quality and the thickness of this knit. It's so gorgeous. A double lining in the front here, which you can see. So, obviously, it goes the first layer, and then there's the double lining. So, you don't need to wear a bra. I'm not wearing a bra. And, obviously, you can wear, like, a little black singlet underneath it as well if you don't want your back exposed. This is probably my favorite piece of the new collection. I just think it is the best boiler suit ever because we've designed it so that it tapers in on the waist without having to wear the belt. Um, I find whenever I wear a boiler suit, it just sags all the way out here, whereas we have fitted it so that it just, you can see when I lift my arms, it tapers in and it gives you that shape still, um, but it's still really oversized, comfortable, structured, so soft, 100% cotton. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this one. So yes, anyways, that's a little look at some of the collection. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We're up in Palm Beach. Thought I'd start off the morning showing you our... Gorgeous tracky set, which I'm gonna be living in because it's really cold. So, update on my skin. It's starting to get quite dry around here, so I've put some blush and bronzer on to try to make me feel a little bit more normal because otherwise I think I will feel like a patchy mess. It's starting to get really dry and like peel. So I'm really intrigued to see what's gonna happen to my skin over the next few days. I'll keep you updated. Because it's supposed to peel for a few days and then by like the third or fourth day apparently your skin will be glowing. Just blessed to come be able to spend some time in a different location in a different spot. Come here. Were you hoping that Henry and Gidge would be here to play with you? We should have brought them anyway. So Nick and I are gonna go grab a coffee now and a massive muffin. I'll show you how, what the muffins look like. They've got muffins up here in Palm Beach and they are just the biggest, like the <laughs> most obnoxiously large muffins and they overflow over the tray. They are so delicious. And then we're gonna go do a grocery shop because we're gonna cook tonight. I think we'll cook fish tacos or something, which I've shown you guys before because they're so yummy and fresh. I'll show you the trackies, I'll like prop up the camera here. So you can see they're like a nice oversized baggy fit. And I've designed them to be high-waisted so that like you can have them nice and high on your hips and you can cover your belly if you're bloated or you can also wear them low waist and have a bit more of a drop crotch. So yeah, nice and big and baggy. When I'm wearing my trackies, I prefer them to be really oversized and comfortable. I'm in a size 10 for both. All right, so we got all of our ingredients for all of our cooking today. You can see now outside, it's definitely much more gloomy. So keen to just like stay inside and cook lots of food. This fresh sourdough, it's still warm. Oh yeah. <laughs> How wrong does it look? It's got a good squish to it, doesn't it? Actually give it a good squish. Hey, is it good? Is it good? Excuse me. Not this sausage roll. Excuse me. Don't just start to travel. Now a little bit. Oh. Gonna make avocado toast. Then you wanna crumble some feta on there. Then you want a squeeze of lime. Loads of pepper and salt. And there you have it. Okay, so it is dinner time. I'm on veggies. I'm going to prep the salsa. I've shown you guys this recipe before, but I just do cucumber, cu well, <laughs> cucumber capsicum tomatoes with fresh lime, um, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil and red wine vinegar. And Nick, you're on Beautiful, fish. Beautiful, fresh snapper fillets. Snapper fillets. Got a glass of crisp white while we're cooking. <laughs> Cheers, you. Mm. 
Cheers. Sorry, that's a bit rude. A bit rude. Um, Don't judge me. I like to <laughs> use this sharp bread knife. I know it's not the right thing to use, but I can't stand a blunt knife. Some fresh lime, red wine vinegar, coriander, salt, pepper, lime, and olive oil. You either love or you hate coriander, we love it. So we're toasting up some wraps now. Nick's done the fish. Have it. Nicely done. Good morning guys. I thought I'd give you a quick little update on my skin. Just more dryness around my mouth, a little bit in my eyebrows weirdly, and a little bit around here. Um, but not like crazy, just like looks like really dry skin. Um, but I, I just can't wait for it all to fall off and then I'm going to start using the new skin regime that they gave me. Um, we're going to go grab a coffee. We've had some avo toast. I've done a reel on Instagram um, and we're just going to chill out again today. I'm going to make some banana bread for one miles account to take to dinner with my parents tonight. So I'll show you guys a bit of that. It's a bit of a cooking vlog again. I feel like every time I come to Palm Beach, it always manages to be a bit of a cooking vlog, but we haven't done it in ages. So anyways, banana, vanilla essence, wholemeal, spelt, bicarb soda, honey, cinnamon, almond milk, salt, pepper, sorry, not pepper. <laughs> Um, and olive oil. Nice healthy banana bread. It smells so, so good. I think I'm going to turn the ingredients and the recipe into a reels for either One Mile or my um, Instagram. So if you want to see the recipe, go check it out. Hey guys, I am checking in for one last check-in before I end this vlog. I wanted to show you an update on my skin though because the peeling has really begun. Hi Bambi. You can see... I thought it was only going to take a few days. It's definitely taken longer than a few days, but the um, most of it's coming off now. So I do think in a few days now, from now, it will be a brand new skin, which I'll, I guess, update you next time on how it goes. But I can tell already that it feels really soft, the underskin. It's just looks pretty crazy thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed it if i am good and i've edited this in time the collection will be launching tomorrow so i will leave the link down in the bio below we're going to be launching 7 p.m australian eastern standard time so uh we will see you tomorrow and can't wait Mwah.